Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord, I'd like to welcome you to Sunday, the 5th day of May, 2024. Our topic today on the Seas of Destiny is the danger of bitterness. The Bible says, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened, that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy, that he cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. Isaiah 59, 1-2 Thought for the day. Bitterness disconnects people from the presence of God. It has been confirmed that bitterness disconnects people from the presence of God. If you are offended by people and you become bitter, refusing to forgive them, your own sins are with you. Mark 11:26. And if your sins are with you, they will separate you from God. Isaiah 59, 1-2 Bitterness does not only cause separation from God's presence on earth, it also causes separation from God's presence in eternity. There are people who never committed immorality in their lifestyle. They lived and died as virgins, yet they are in hell now because they refuse to forgive someone. Can you imagine yourself ending in the same hellfire with terrible sinners because you did not agree to forgive somebody, you refuse to release somebody from your heart, God forbid. Some time ago, we heard the story about a man who died and later came back to life. This man labored greatly in the kingdom of God. He preached and he pushed the gospel of Jesus Christ. He fasted for many days while on the earth. He could fast for many days, like 21 days, like 30 days, like 40 days, you know, and he had unusual grace for fasting. It was said that when he died, the Lord told him, return to the earth. You have been embittered by your primary school teacher. Go, look for him, forgive him, and let him forgive you. What? Can you see the effect of bitterness? If not for the mercy of God, he would have gone to hell after all these years of serving God. Beloved, reject bitterness by all means. Ask for the grace to forgive others because offenses must surely come. But make up your mind never to hold a grudge against anyone in your heart. Receive the grace to live free of bitterness and malice in Jesus' name. Remember this, that bitterness disconnects people from the presence of God. What's our assignment today? Number one, ask God for the grace to release anyone who has offended you from your heart. Number two, Make up your mind never to harbor offenses. Forgive liberally and the Lord will help in Jesus' name. Let's pray. Say, Lord, I ask that you help me to release every weight of offense that I have harbored in my heart against anyone. Baptize me afresh with the spirit of love and kindness, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. I believe that. God has heard that and the Lord will definitely help us in Jesus' name. I'd like to pray for someone today. You want to say, Jesus, forgive me all my sins. I have not even forgiven others. I'm holding so many people at heart. I don't want to go to hell. Jesus, forgive me my sins and give me the grace to forgive others. You want me to pray that prayer with you? Simply pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for, for dying for my sins. I know I'm a sinner. I need your help. Please forgive me my sins. Come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please you, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Praise God. The Lord bless you. I believe that the Lord has heard that prayer and he has answered and he will grant us great victory in Jesus name. God bless you and I want to close by wishing you a very happy birthday. As your days are so shall your strength be, God cause his face to shine on you and be gracious unto you in Jesus name. God bless you.